Tell us about it, K-Dub. All right, we are exactly halfway through my tournament season this year. We have, we fished two NPFLs, five Elite Series events, and a Classic. That adds up to eight of 16 tournaments that I think I'm gonna fish this year. 10 plus six, yeah, 16 tournaments I'm gonna fish this year. And ain't no telling how many local lake. Tons of local lake derbies, but uh, we're not even halfway through them at all. But anyways, we're gonna kind of walk y'all through the Icon LX20. I've still got the most questions about this boat by far. Like whenever people see me, they always ask about this boat. A lot of people ask about this thing on the side. It has been an eye catcher. The, I call it the contour on the side, which actually makes the front deck wider makes it for a dry ride like whenever you hit waves instead of the spray going up it shoots the spray out so that you don't get wet as often as you do in other boats but a couple things about this boat that i just kind of want to go through and talk about that i get a lot of questions on number one my favorite thing about this boat is the live wheels that's my favorite part of the boat they're the easiest live wheels i've ever had to use for me that's super important i've got a ton of confidence that you know i'm have the fish survive and be alive and not cost many penalties but the live well has been super super easy now i'm starting to use the chiller the actual chiller plate and i got it preset turn it on in the morning like as soon as i turn the live wheels on turn on auto it does everything all throughout the day so that's been super super cool my second favorite part about this boat is the rod locker I, I have been able to fit more rods in this boat and keep them more organized than I ever have before. And that just comes with the boat being bigger, you know? And I keep a lot of rods. I keep spinning rods in one side. I keep bait casts in the other side. I keep probably, I don't know, way too many. 40-ish, 40, 40 13 fishing rods and reels in here at all times. And that becomes cumbersome, you know, a lot of times. But it's been a, got a lot of room in this one. Center storage box, huge, you know. But my favorite part by far is the live wells. The storage locker and then the battery compartment has been phenomenal. Like, absolutely phenomenal. I you got, know what my favorite part is? <clears throat> what? The cooler. The cooler is legit. It's huge. Cooler's huge on this boat. You can fit a ton of stuff. We've been going out, hanging out on kind of the local lake this past couple weeks, and we fill the cooler up with waters and ice and baby food and all kinds of stuff. And uh, that the, the cooler is super, super legit. I got 10 foot poles this year and don't regret it one bit i will probably run 10 footers forever like a big fan of those i re really enjoyed having those so far they've helped me out a, quite a few times this year been running the humbird apexes that's new for this year the lake master mapping has been phenomenal you know the side imaging on these is super super crisp i got an 8600 garmin that's not near as important as i thought it was going to be i'll tell you that 8600 garmin has been kind of a disappointment but uh Still super, super important and phenomenal piece of equipment, but it's not as much better as I thought it was gonna be over a 12. Been running the, the uh, Minn Kota Ultra X Quest. Y'all seen that. Uh, power wise, super strong. Durability wise, I would say it's good. The uh, steering, <clears throat> not as good as what I'm used to, but power wise, it's better. And durability wise, probably better. But the steering has a little bit more play to it, a little bit more sloppy than the troll motor I was running. But uh, over, overall, a better troll motor. Pro I still think it's the best troll motor on the market. Just a little bit of, a little bit of play in the steering, but uh, that's just across the board on all those. But uh, what else do we have that's new that we need to talk about? You like the seats in here? Seats are good. Yeah, seats are super comfortable. Boat rides obviously super well. Knew that from the beginning. The, uh, you know, everything. I just kind of want to go over the new stuff that i that i used and uh talk about that let's one thing that's new from gamakatsu since we're talking about the new stuff i'm using this year the ceramic braid pliers these things are legit dude gamakatsu ceramic braid pliers I've been cutting braid with these things they're like they look like kind of goofy you know still. they look kind of goofy but they work like super super well like i'm kind of a big fan of these actually so like them focus on them for some reason well they're they got a white blade on them they're ceramic they're kind of weird looking but uh anyways what else do we got the new truck like new it? truck is good big it's big way bigger than my old truck and uh gas mileage i get 11. <laughs> i get 11 miles per gallon pulling the boat so that's just what it is but the truck is super nice tow super good um super roomy oh, reliable's in the back back there. oh reliable back there and uh I just kind of want to go through the the new stuff that I'm I use this year. Oh yeah, well one new thing about the boat is there's steps on the trailer. 
game changer. Steps and the pole in the trailer makes it so much easier to get in. Like, and I could still get in, you know, if we didn't have them. But them things, them things are legit. The uh, what else? What else is new? I just kind of want to go through the new stuff, really. Um, Crest City baits are new. Yeah, that's awesome. Been smashing them on them suckers. How about a uh, six pounder on Lake Hartwell on a three inch mayor to start the morning? What's your most used out? What's your most used bait for this year? What have you caught the most fish on this year? What have I caught the most fish on? Where have we been? Toledo Bend, Fork. Uh, this year's kind of been a hodgepodge. Wait in some on a frog, some on a wacky rig, some on a Nico rig, some off bed. Kind of been hodgepodge it around. Ain't I don't think we've got a I don't think we've got a clear winter this year. This year's been weird. Caught quite a few on the Moochman on, on a bunch of them, but uh, caught quite a few on the Mayor so far. I don't know, kind of hodgepodgey this year. Not really a not really a clear winter so far. But anyways. Just kind of want to give you all a little rundown of how I, what I thought about the LX20 halfway through the season. I have not had to fix hardly anything on this boat. Usually when I get back from back-to-back -back tournaments or whatever, I take my rub rail off, tighten everything back up. I've done this on this boat whenever I got home from the first two because it was super windy. And uh, there wasn't a loose screw nowhere. So, I mean, that's been a uh, very, very pleasant surprise. First boat I've ever had that didn't have to tighten screws during the tournament at night every single night so that's definitely a bonus but a super well built boat like for sure and but the live wells and that rod storage that's legit but appreciate you guys watching I'm about to start posting more videos because sorry it, if the uh the camera's a little shaky if y'all don't baby is so me. people don't know this but for like <laughs> two years we've had to leave the house and go get wi-fi to upload YouTube videos. So we finally got some dadgum internet that hopefully is going to work. So maybe we'll be able to post some stuff from now on. But anyways, just kind of want to give y'all an update on the LX20. Phenomenal boat.